So back to side real astrology and Vedic astrology. Another important factor is please don't base um, what you know of astrology as a certain sign to be exactly the same way it is in the Vedic uh, slash the side real astrology. Because for example, what you know to be of this uh, sign um, or its placement as an example, as I don't know, a Gemini or a Sagittarius, certain traits or its placements is going to be different inside real and Vedic astrology because they look at things in a different manner, which is why I've said it's better to start off with Western astrology, tropical, which is known as tropical, tropical astrology, than go to the Vedic, okay? So if you're going to look into this for the first so another very important factor knowing the difference between side real Vedic astrology versus tropical Western is that Western astrology emphasizes on your sun sign. So the sun sign is the major influence. the end of May you say you're a Gemini right okay so going to Vedic astrology that's not necessarily the case because what happens now is when someone says what's your zodiac sign in side real or Vedic astrology they're not asking you when you're born they're gonna be asking your moon sign so in Vedic astrology my moon sign is Scorpio so then I'd be saying my zodiac sign is a Scorpio there's a huge difference because in Vedic slash. So what comes with that is basically knowing that you're not going by the whole concept or ideology of what, you know, we do in the West. So you're not saying. So, for example, I'm a Taurus sun sign in Western astrology. So in East uh, in Vedic side real astrology, I'm considered basically an Aries. So when someone asks my zodiac and I'm going with the mentality of Vedic side real astrology, I'm not actually supposed to be saying my sun sign. They're asking what is your moon sign, which would be Scorpio, not Aries. You know, so Vedic slash side real astrology um, orbits around the moon and certain stars. When si um Western tropical astrology is more focused on the sun, which is another good reason why, or for me anyways, to give up on Western astrology and why I feel like I've accomplished a lot with it is because the headaches that I get with a Leo rising in Western astrology, I get severe headaches from the sun where it's too much for me. And me tapping more into my cancer rising in vedic astrology and more so on my scorpio moon in vedic astrology rather than my leo rising in western and my sagittarius moon in western less fire more water which is what i now need in the second phase of my life so if this makes sense to you i'm so glad if it doesn't you're gonna have to keep researching it to make more sense which is why it's important to understand that there needs to be a level of self-understanding for you to move up. On that note, though, I think this makes a lot of fucking sense because growing up as a child, I was always told I have more Scorpio tendencies than and it, probably any other Taurus that they've met. And if you really look into it, and as I've always said in my YouTube channel, Taurus is the closest thing to Scorpio, not Cancer, not Pisces. Because they seem to base the unprofessional ones that look at surface things. They seem to base cancer and water signs as similar to each other. That's on the, on the surface. So you want to look at the polar opposites. Taurus and Scorpio are polar opposites. Virgo and Pisces are polar opposites. Gemini and Sagittarius are polar opposites. These are the most similar. They go about things differently, but they're the most similar. It's a fucking plug. It's like a plug. One side of the plug would be, would be Scorpio. Now you take a look at the cord. The other side would be considered Taurus. Now this is a metaphor, guys. And I've posted this before about 10 years ago on my YouTube channel. And I've literally showed you how plugs operate, right? 
meaning one goes into your phone or device, the other part goes into the electrical unit to charge it. So basically, it cannot be formed without each other. Without each other, it's not formed because it's one fucking plug. That's how polar opposites work. Libra Aries. Do you know what I'm saying? Anyways, I'm so into this shit. I love it. You know I love it. And I make you love it. So it's so fascinating. Okay, I just, I find this. Why would I want to stay in a relationship with a man and be married and focus on physical needs when I could focus on myself and learn about myself and manifest stuff? Okay, life is too marvelous. <sighs> There's some truths to that. Sometimes I'm like, oh. But then I'm like, no. This is my last life on planet Earth. I will never be returning ever again. Therefore, I would rather be spending it with myself than anybody else. And I had something else to say very important, but I forgot. So bear with me because I forgot. Um, what the fuck was I going to say? Yeah, it's just the sky's the limit, literally. Literally, the sky's the limit. I say that all the time because the sky is the limit, meaning opposite. It's not the limit. The universe is so grand. So instead of focusing more on, like, certain... I don't know. Just, you gotta look into this yourself in order to really grasp. It's so fascinating. I'm into astronomy too, even though people who are into astrology are not into astronomy. I'm very, I don't have a belief system. I don't believe in anything. I just love using and learning new fucking. I'm getting a butterfly tattoo on my face soon, so that's gonna be exciting. Okay, so with that whole placement I was talking about with side real astrology in regards to, um, just the whole concept of what I was saying is, here's the thing. The Vedic side real astrology is considered more accurate in actuality because even astronomers, okay, when they're tuning into certain constellations in the sky currently, when you tune into the modern, the Western astrology versus the sidereal Vedic astrology, you'll they see that, for example, now we're in Virgo constellation, they see that they're still seeing the lion. The lion is what's present, not Virgo yet, if that makes sense. So when people are claiming that they're like a sun, your zodiac sign is like in... Virgo, it really doesn't mean anything. This is a very modern concept because it's kind of comparing your thigh or your leg to your entire body. Your leg can be a Virgo in Western or a Leo in Vedic, which is actually, yeah. And it, you're basically minimizing your entire being character into one little fire leg as a potential. So I hope this gives you more clarity. If not, just Google fucking search it and YouTube it and um, have fun. One more thing to keep note of is most successful celebrities and billionaires have a Vedic astrologer awakening and aligning into successful days. Um, on when to do what or be a success or make more money rather than the western because just like everything in life people get scammed into believing something that is a very tiny part of a whole um so like i said if you're really into astrology or opening or expanding your mind look into this stuff it's pretty amazing so the aspects and the power is pretty much very similar if not the same um but there's more impact and potency with Vedic astrology, if that makes sense to you. If not, to each their own, but um, that's why with Western astrology, it was working for me and it was work it's working for a lot of people worldwide, but personally on my side, um, I feel like I've completed everything in my own chart, birth chart, through Western and now it's time to awaken the lying doormat parts of myself in Vedic.
even though I was working with it at the time, I didn't fully embrace it. So now I will.